Gage Mines, Micah Frankel, inside of the Team Pit Bull facility, alongside of Maximus Moya. The Legacy continues on March 23rd, Legacy Boxing Promotions, and we have a rematch upon us. Yes, sir. So why the rematch? I just feel like I didn't do great that my first fight, that first fight with him. So this time, you know, we're going in there even more prepared, even better this time. We go in there and do what we have to do and get the job done this time. Fought Andreas Ray this past summer, first blemish on the record. So, right away, did you know you wanted to run this one back? Yeah, right away I wanted to run it back. Just uh, you know, get another, get another, hopefully another win in my column and get out of that losing bracket. What happened in that camp that led to you not, not performing the way that you thought you would? We just didn't go in there. We didn't stick to our game plan. And, you know, I didn't do, I didn't look like myself in there when I watch it back. And even being there in the ring, I felt like I wasn't myself. So this time, you know, we've been mostly, been mentally prepared this time, training extra hard, putting extra work, hours, and we were ready. So what did you feel when you look at that tape? Just felt disappointed in myself, you know, not looking like my normal self. This, you know, brings you down when you have when you lose your first fight too. Was there things that Andreas presented that threw you out of your game? No, nah, nothing really. But you know, you got to go in there prepared, and I wasn't prepared for where he was coming at me with. So this time, we are. How do you now come prepared? What have you done this camp to fully be prepared? We've been training extra hard with Pitt. Pitt's been doing extra work with me. Sunday's been extra, hitting extra hard. Runs, I'm doing extra, extra everything just to get back in this win column. How many times have you watched that fight back? A couple times. Try not to watch it too much. Just see what I did wrong and try to learn from it. When you're watching it, so you, it felt like an outer body experience? You just weren't connecting with what you normally do or was it more like you weren't doing what you thought you wanted to do. Yeah, I just wasn't doing what I thought I could do in there. Like I just, none of my punches were flowing right, nothing. My body, nothing just felt right. So this time we're ready. What has it been like since that loss? How did that light a fire under you? Just sucks being in this losing column. And I just let a fire under me, you know, you're down maybe like a couple of days and then, you know what, you get back in there, work harder and improve on whatever I have to prove on and go in there and get this win. What do you think this rematch is going to look like? How is it going to be a different fight? Well, it's going to be way better this time. I can tell you that. We're going in there with everything, head, mentally prepared for whatever we got. Have you pinpointed a reason, something that threw you off? Was it on you, or what did you feel like, or is this just something that you got to get past? Just something I've got to get past. This wasn't on me. It's just something that happens, and happens for a reason. You just got to learn from it. I know you've had the ups and downs. you had a, a long amateur career. Did this feel like different the way you performed how you said you didn't do what you wanted was it something different from how you know downs have happened in the amateurs yeah this is way different than like with the amateurs amateurs just like yeah you lose and you learn from it and this time it's just different because you know you hate to get a zero in the pros get a, a loss on your record so this one put a fire under me get back in the win column what have you been doing in camp? What's it look like? Who you've been working with this time? We know you're with Team Pitbull, but who you've been sparring? If you can tell us. Uh, Jason Sanchez, one of them. A couple more. We'll get we'll get into it. Also, it's been some good work this time yeah. getting around. And are these some different looks or still working with the same people you've been sparring before? A couple here? of same people, but there's been some different people at times too. We got a lot going on. Also, there's uh, some nationals going on this week, I believe, in Albuquerque, so does that take you back to any memories? Yes, sir. I remember when they came here last time, I fought in it. I, did, uh, I think I advanced to like the third round, I think so. I did pretty good in it. What's the advice that you give to the amateur pugilists out there competing this week? Just keep going, and you guys could do it. Keep pushing through, work hard, and try to get in this win. And now what do you expect from yourself when we see you back in there on the 23rd? Are well, you going to see something good when we get back in there on the 23rd? And we're going to get this win for sure. Thank you for the time. Thank you.